the cheese is like out of this world. Mm. Hey, leave me some. <laughs> What's up everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Binney coming at you from beautiful, sunny Miami, Florida. We're here in the Birds Road Arts District at Unseen Creatures Brewing, because today we're gonna try some American Latin fusion street food at Are You Hungry? It's a pop-up right outside the brewery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try some like a smash burger, frita burger, pan con biste, and then they have some yuca frita as well. I love yuca frita. And then after we try the food, we're going into the brewery and we're gonna try some saisons, IPA, and even a brown ale. I'm excited, I've never been here. I heard so many good things. Are you hungry, Grill? Are you hungry? I'm super hungry, let's go do it. Let's do it. We're here at Are You Hungry Grill, I'm the owner, and we're gonna try a Wagyu burger with a beer cheese I made with one of the beers made by our buddy here at Unseen Creatures. We have a Frida burger, which is my take on a, fri on a Frita Cubana, but I am half Mexican and Cuban, so it's got a little bit of Mexican chorizo in it. We're gonna do a little chicken burrito action and a jerk chicken hot dog that I make that uh, has all these sauces that are homemade, a little bit of a IKEA barbecue and a secret sauce. And we're just gonna have some food and have some good times. Yep. We're gonna start it off. Let's do it. Start off with the, the free dacuanas. This is a five ounce, 100% Wagyu patty. Smash it. So the frita burgers and also the Wagyu burger. Right now what he did is he covered it. I cooked the beer for about four to five minutes. It takes the alcohol out, it reduces. And then on top of that, I start making a roux and I start placing, um, you know, what different kinds of cheese. It's got Kobe Jack cheese, it's got cheddar cheese. I then put pimentos. I put uh, some, some jalapeno with the jalapeno vinegar in it. And then I just, you simmer it so it gets to, to this. It just gets a little bit of extra flavor. Oxo is a barbecue that also has an IPA beer in it. Oh wow. So in case you guys don't know what a frita burger is, it's basically, you know, a beef burger with a frita on top, which are like tiny, like almost like French fries, but very, very small version of it. It's a Cuban thing. This is a take on the frita because I'm Cuban, Mexican, and Puerto Rican. So I got a little bit of mix of everything. In so this is more of a gourmet frita. This is more like a burger frita. So it's got the papitas, it's got the burger and chorizo mix. Uh, usually the, the frita cubana has a, uh, a chorizo fagnolo. Yeah. I use Mexican chorizo, gives it a little kick and a little bit more of a barbecue food. So. so now he's making the chicken burrito. So he already cooked the chicken, chops it up. This is a jalapeno cheddar tortilla. You said jalapeno cheddar tortilla. This is a garlic cilantro sauce that I make. White rice, black beans. It has a homemade like pico salsa, some uh, chicken breast that's been marinating for two days and I cut it up. And then it has a uh, shredded Kobe Jack cheese, goes on the tortilla. And now I do an added little trick now. I take more cheese and I throw it on the grill. This is the jerk dog, 100% chicken hot dog. So once the hot dogs were cooked, he added some jerk sauce, then he put provolone cheese on top, and then he covered it again so the cheese melts. This is awesome. So because of the pop-up, they have one table outside with a tent on top, and it's right here. So we're gonna eat right here. Oh man, super fresh air right now. We have all this food and we have some beer. So we have a double IPA right here. And then this is the house IPA. I'm excited. I haven't tried the beers here, but I heard so many good things. Unseen Creatures Brewing. Can't wait. All right, here we go. American Latin street food. I am so excited. So obviously burgers, hot dogs, and a chicken burrito right here the wagyu right so wagyu with cheese on top the beer cheese I'm excited for that over here we have the frita burgers so you got the little like uh fritas on top so like french fries the super thin ones tiny over here we have the chicken jerk hot dogs which are chicken hot dogs with the fritas on top as well i think this one's a spicy one over here so that's mine uh, we'll find out and then over here we have the chicken burrito big mix of things and we have the two delicious delicious beers from unseen creatures unseen creatures brewery right here this is gonna be awesome but cheers Good, strong. Very good. This is a double IPA. This is the, the house.
Ross IPA, right? Yeah. Here's a like cloudy. It looks like lemonade, but it's not lemonade. It. It's not lemonade at all. It's very good. Mm, refreshing. Yeah. Right? This is a little citrusy of yours. Mine is more. Sorry. So mine's a double IPA. It's a little stronger. Ooh. This is probably like a nine. All right, Dad, so what do you think we should start with first? The frita? I think the frita. Fritas. I think the frita, the traditional frita. Yes. But this is not traditional frita. It is not traditional. Traditional is more like a sloppy joe. Yeah. This one's like, you know, like a burger. It's gourmet style, right? Let's do it. Mm. Huh. This is good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Amazing juicy burger. Throw it on cheese. Mmm, I love the sauces. This is like a chorizo cake in the inside. Yeah, I forgot exactly what he put in the sauces, but... Oh, wow. Mmm, crunchy. Crunchy. Juicy. Filling. Love the bread. Mmm. And the amount of fritas in here. That's what I love about American food. The burgers, even though we're a big like, burger culture, I mean, obviously the, the quality of the beef matters, but everywhere you go in America, it changes. I've had so many delicious burgers, I gotta say this is one of the best pizzas ever. I know, you're supposed to save space for the rest, but this is too good. Hi, right, but save space, we have, we have plenty. Mmm. Let's go back. The chorizo. Mmm, no spicy. This has been like the best summer, you know, we're filming every day, reading all this wonderful food. I appreciate your invite, David. All right, Dad, so I guess we have to... You have to either begin, I, yeah, either we have I to eat it. Like it. And the special thing with this is the cheese, right? The beer cheese. Beer cheese. Beer cheese, Wagyu burger, I mean, very unique. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, the cheese. The cheese is like... Out of this world. Mmm. Hey, leave me some. <laughs> this is that cheese, the way he did it. This is the cheesy part. I'm gonna mm -hmm. eat this part. So I think he put two different cheeses there, right? So he cooked beer, then he mixed the cheese in. That is American, right? Or cheddar, cheddar. But it's got a kick of jalapeno in mm -hmm. it. It does have a kick. Oh mm. my goodness. It's spicy. Yeah. But that burger is not going home. It's not going in our bellies. My belly. Yeah, oh my god. And when the best thing to do that, if you really wanted to, I just get a little bit of the cheese that has fallen, right? Like that. And put, put it back. right there. Go. That's you. That's huh? me? That's you. I know you do. It's a muy bueno. Eso. It's very good. Mm. The cheesy part. You know, when you have the cheesy part, it's like super special. Yeah, I just gotta yeah. get all the cheese. All yeah. the cheese, Dad. Is that for you? So unique, the quality of the beef, explosion of flavors in your mouth. Yeah, like my dad said, nothing should be wasted. Mm. The quality, Wagyu, the best meat on the planet. Sorry, mama. <laughs> We have two more things to try. So we have the jerk hot dogs and the chicken burrito. What do you want to do? Um, let's start with the hot dogs. <laughs> All right, so let's grab these hot dogs. That one looks like the one. This is a spicy one. Spicy that's one? That's yours right okay. there. Got it. Are you ready? I'm so these ready. hot dogs Woo. are chicken hot dogs. On top, you have the fritas, so the small french fries, and then you have like three different sauces. Mine has a spicy sauce. His has the barbecue and I think the jerk sauce. No, it's the secret sauce. The secret sauce, the secret okay. Sauce. Big bite. Big bite. Mmm. Lots of sauce. Cheese. There's cheese. Crunchy. Cheese inside as well. Mm -hmm. Is there cheese? There is cheese. Mmm. Wow. I love the taste. Actually, I barely eat hot dogs. But this one? I barely eat hot dogs, but this one is a good one. Mm hmm. It's a, it's a more of a gourmet version of a hot dog, you know? Mm. And you don't even notice that it's 
chicken. It's a chicken hot dog. But it doesn't taste like chicken. It I mean, tastes like a real hot dog. You would never know, you know? No. This one I think I'm gonna finish. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm. For me, a hot dog has to be unique. The only place in the world where I'll eat like just a regular hot dog is like in Germany. We have like Bas the Basburs. Uh, what is it called? Wurz. 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 Yeah, something like that. I had the best hot dogs I ever had. Bratwurst. Bratwurst Brat. in Nuremberg. Nuremberg, Bavaria. Best ones. And I also have some white ones in Munich. Actually, the best one that I ever had was in the airport in Frankfurt. Best one. Best one. Breakfast, hot dogs, and beer. It's hard not to finish. It's incredible. Oh. Gotta eat it all. Okay, so let me show you what Marikitas are. So they're basically plantains. Fried plantains, right? Like that. Look at them. They're great. I love them. So you wanna try some? Mmm. This is classic. I feel like you get some lime in here, right? Crunchy, salty. These are not oily at all. Mm -hmm. I think they're baked, right? I think they're baked. They feel baked. And they have lime. They have and a bit of lime. After you eat that, you flush it down with the beer. Okay, so I think we have one last thing to try, Dad. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to be able to get through this because it's a lot of food. Woo. This is the, this big, the big burrito. Wow. And you have a little fritas on the side? Oh, you should have left the fritas. No, right? I think you have to do is you have to and, it. And this guy made it, you know, with a crust. Yeah, the crust is cheese crust. Cheese crust. So he melted the cheese and then he put it on top. Unbelievable. So you dip, right? Dip. I don't know uh, what sauce that is, but... We'll try it. Cheers, Dad. Let's do it. Cheers. Mmm. It needs like a honey mustard or something. Technically it's a burrito, but it's not a bomb. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a big burrito. It's a big burrito. So you have rice, beans, cheese. You have a little bit of sauce in there. I think it's like a tomato. La gallo pinto like sauce. Like gallo pinto sauce in there, the chicken. And it's a jalapeno uh, wrap, if mm -hmm. I remember correctly. Oh, wow. Tasty, it's filling. I love the outside, how it's cheesy, super like melted cheese that is hardened. Ooh, Man, no, 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 this is a bomb. It's a bomb. bomb no. <laughs> so we were wrong. This is actually a garlic aioli sauce. Mm -hmm. I think I can only get one more bite, guys. That's it? Oh, God, this is like too filling. And now we're going to try some more beer, so you got to be careful here. Yeah, right. I can eat this. You can eat this? Yeah. I don't know. It's like the ultimate burrito. You have one of these, that's your meal. You're done. Mm. And obviously, the rice fills you up, right? So if you just want to go for chicken. Bobby? I have an idea how you can put the sauce on this. You're done? I think I'm done. Maybe I'll have some more of the frita. The frita, yeah. I'll dip into this garlic earlier. American food, mixed with a Latin twist. So many flavors, so many textures too. Yeah. And Soft, this, and this juicy, cheese. and crunchy. Look at this cheese. I know, right? Right off the top, the just like rip it off, look at that. Yeah, right? I always like doing this. And this, the best part about this is it's a little spicy because the jalapeno wrap. Look what I did. By the way, if you guys see me in the future in videos gaining weight, it's his fault. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm starting. It's your fault. All right guys, the food has been amazing, but I think it's time to explore the brewery. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Unseen creatures. Let's do it. Marco. What's up, man? Ready to go, man. Ready to go. Welcome to Unseen Creatures. This is it. This is home. So what do you guys do here? Uh, we're a farmhouse inspired brewery. Uh, so a lot of the things that we do here are kind of inspired by those old rustic traditions of the farmhouse where you got mixed culture beers, barrels, sour, 
But we also do a lot of really great IPAs, I think, and starting up our game on loggers too, so. So how many different beers do you have? And is it a mix between IPAs, Saisons, Browns, Porters, like darks and, and yeah. light? Before COVID, we had all 15 lines filled and we'd have some stuff in package and everything. Uh, nowadays, we carry maybe six to eight different brands on at all times. Some, some uh, mixed culture sour beers, some IPAs, and we've got a couple of loggers on and a, a couple stouts on now actually too, so. And what do you have behind you? Uh, this is our, our uh, house table beer. It's a 4% Saison. It kind of represents who we are as a brewery. These are antler sheds, so it is like no, no deer were harmed in the making of our tap handles, but they're all made by hand. Uh, we bought a bunch of sheds from like Ohio or something and uh, drilled them all and put all the fittings on. So like everything here is done by hand. And I thought you said it was real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we're giving you a little bit of a display of some of the things we do. This is Golden Ratio. It's a hoppy lager. Uh, just really easy to drink, like 4.5% alcohol. A crusher. This is what I usually drink. This is The Child. It's become one of our kind of like most requested IPAs that we do. Uh, really kind of tropical fruit, ripe tropical fruit forward and not very bitter, so people tend, really tend to like it because it's really fruity. This is Persistence of Thought. It's one of our barrel fermented sour beers. Really delicate, balanced uh, acidity. And um, and this is Roots Below. It's a beer we just brewed with uh, Tripping Animals here. It's an Imperial Stout. It's about 13% alcohol. We condition it on uh, coconut. And this is the Golden Ratio. So like 4.3%, super sessionable beer, hoppy, nice lager. Dude, it feels like a it feels like a pale ale. Yeah. Like yeah. light light hops. No. So you said it's a lot. Yeah. It's very light, no? Mm-hmm. Four and a half. Four point three, yeah. So yeah. very, very beachy. I think this is like a perfect beer for the beach. It's craft beer, so it's always summer. gonna be better than oh yeah, especially this heat. Woo. <laughs> yeah, nice color too. So good, so light. So this one's called The Child. So it's an IPA, very cloudy. And you said how much percent? About 7%. 7%? Probably not gonna get drunk on this one. No, yeah, you will. You, you will. will? Yeah. This one's, this, this this one's like a super IPA, man. Mm -hmm. This one hit you in the face. <laughs> no, it's great. I like it. But it's heavy. Like you drink two or three, heavy, you, you feel heavy. full. Very good. I'm really into IPAs, I mean, especially when I started, I got really into it, and so many different ones, West Coast, East Coast, you know, you know Light on all. Hops. You know them I don't all. know them all, that is a I billion, mean, there's, there's a billion, billion beers, man. But you know a lot of them. You know them, I mean, if, if you think about it, Miami has how many breweries now? Like 15? And then each one has like 10 beers, and then you start going all around America, it's like 5,000 breweries. And this is Persistence of Thought, Barrel Fermented Sour. Percentage? Seven and a half? Okay, you wanna try it? Oh, yeah, sure. It's not, it's not gonna hit me in the face, is it? I don't know. The, the other one, the IPA was just very, it's very heavy beer. This one, I'm sure, is a little lighter, but because it's a sour, so, you know, obviously very sour, and it was fermented in barrels, so it, it like- Sour, it and then it's got a like lime. Lime? Lime. Right? Yeah. Sour and lime. Very zesty. Mm. It's still like zesty. This is good. This is awesome. Persistence of thought, you said, right? Also for the beach, you could drink this in the beach. No, no, no. Drink no, the beach, you're, you're gonna be the sun, the sun, the sun in this. The sun in this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, really cool fact: they're right next to the highway right here. Look at it. Okay, so this is called Roots Below. This is in collaboration with Tripping Animals, another brewery here in Miami in the Doral area. 12.5% uh, Imperial IPA, sorry, Imperial Stout, and it's conditioned with coconuts. So you're gonna have a lot of coconuts in here. I love stouts, uh, you know, strong beer. Imperial, this is obviously from like Russia, I think, because Imperial times they made Imperial stouts. Something like that, right? <laughs> All right, let's try it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. This is like. This is definitely. This is like the best beer in Miami right now. Whoa. Hmm. Coconuts. Coconut chocolate. I mean, chocolate, coconuts, yeah. beans, like espresso beans in there. Uh, dark beer, obviously. Imperial style. It's is like the highest. Espresso with alcohol and coconuts. Exactly. 12.5%. So, you know, two of these, you're good. That's the best part about this type of beers. I mean, if you like it, is that you don't have to drink, 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 and get super full. You can have two beers and feel, you know, mellow. And you're finished. 
I'm not, <laughs> I'm not finished yet, dude. This is, uh, you can have the rest. I'll have this one. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Roots below. So what do you have here? You have like a... So we're a, we're a seven barrel brew house. A brewer's barrel is 31 gallons of beer. So we can produce around like 220 gallons of beer at a time. Okay. Um, it's pretty small. A lot of breweries do like 15 and up, but we, uh, we, you know, we built it around coming to the brewery and having the experience here. So we went with a seven barrel to kind of keep it. The ability to make a lot of different beers all the time. How many times a week do you brew? Uh, generally two to three times a week. Okay. Uh, and that, you know, it's dictated by however many tanks we have open. So we got three seven barrel tanks. So okay. it's like one turn on the system and we got one 15, which is two turns on the system to fill it. But uh, we got a couple IPAs going to town right now and, and a Kolsch people have, keep asking us for. So this is the brewing system right here. They go up here and this is where it's all made. Once it's done here, then it goes over there and it gets fermented. Right. So it's nothing, right? Like two, three days to eight days, something like that, right? Like not that it, long. It depends on the style. I mean, we'll, a lot of our beers, will, they'll get canned after a couple weeks. Uh, Cause we, you know, we dry hop them, fermentation, make sure we get all these kind of off flavors out. So. Anywhere between two weeks to our sour beers, they can take three, four months. They can take two, three years. So it just depends on the style of beer. All right, guys, so we did it. We had American Latin Infusion street food here in Miami. This was epic. We had Wagyu Burger, fritas, uh, hot dogs, chicken hot dog, which is called jerk uh, hot dogs. Then we burrito. also had the burrito. And then we came here to Unseen Creatures Brewing. We tried their beers. We got a tour of the entire facility. This is an amazing place. I mean, I've never been to a brewery like this in Miami. Really different industrial warehouse feel. We're next to the highway. And I mean, the feeling here is just beautiful. Beers are delicious. My favorite was the stout, obviously. Obviously. I finished it. What was your favorite food? The favorite food? The Wagyu Burger, definitely. The Wagyu Burger. The Wagyu yeah. Burger. Wagyu Burger. And, and the Frita. And the Frita. The frita. I mean, they're, they're head to I mean, head. And they were all amazing. I, I thought everything was super juicy. What a twist in terms of American Latin. You know, the American part is like obviously hot dog, hamburger, and then the Latin part is like the fritas, the mix with the cheese. For the Wagyu Burger, the cheese with the, the, brew, like the beer cheese. The beer cheese was the beer amazing. Beer cheese. That, Cheers. Love you. Cheers. Love you too. If you guys love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami. Salud.